They were not great at the X. Now, of course, they were facing Luke Weirman last week, and a lot of teams are going to have those struggles this season. But for Eric Pacheco and Loyola, an opportunity to improve upon that here today. You see the two goalies, Luke Stout, Tim Marcel, both off the great starts as we are underway. And how do you like that? Eric Pacheco comes away with the opening face on. Boy, he deserves it. As you said after last week, he, he's coming in at 18% <laughs> yeah. here, Glenn. I'm assuming that'll go up just a, just a tad today. Ellen for Patra, his first assist on the year and his third point on the season. Three and a half minutes gone by, and Pacheco follows it up with a face-off win. He's got a step. Pacheco all the way inside, and he gets it to go. Boy, P Pacheco, and you noted this earlier, came in at 18%. Well, he's won the first two, and that one kind of ended up in no man's land, right, where he committed as Hopkins opts not to slide as he comes down Charles Street. Marcel gets a hand on it, but unfortunately, ball trickles in. See a different face-off specialist for Hopkins instead of Dunn. They're going to go with Logan. He went the way of Pacheco, including that goal. His first of the season for the senior takes over as the primary face-off guy. And there's Logan Callahan, 13 to 21 on the year. He steps in. Had a big performance in the third quarter in the season opener against Jackson. He went six for for Marcio. It's his third goal on the season. And it looks like Callahan again out there for the face-off for the Blue Jays. This time, it's going to be the Greyhounds that come away with it. The ground ball pick up by Diego Roman. Nice job there. Six points on the year. Hopkins. Yeah, and credit Marcel. Like, this could be a lot worse. Yep. 3 1. Hopkins is, is clearly still in it. It could have been a lot worse if it wasn't for his play. And Callahan out there for a third straight faceoff. Win it differently that's provided them su some success. Well, I, I think one of the things that he's, he's done is even if he doesn't win it clean, he, he's created kind of a scrum there at the X. And he's done a real nice job of getting possession of it, as you see here. Put his team in possession. Put his team in a position to get possession. Play Pacheco being awfully aggressive, throwing some checks. And it's going to go the other way, belong to Hopkins. You know, one of the interesting things there so far about Hopkins. Just an awesome early season matchup. Pacheco had a chance at it, comes away with it. Getting so look at his, look at his pressure for... immediately on Pacheco. He does a nice job getting away from it. Loyola settles down for another possession. To stretch the lead out to their largest of the day at 5-1. Again, Callahan, they stuck with them. Big, big, big possession there by Callahan and a really big possession here for Hopkins. Jack Howley, specialist on the wing, one of the captains for this Johns Hopkins team. Back to the dot again. Callahan out there. This time it was Katona, however, for Loyola and the Greyhounds. Well, they had a shot at coming away with a faceoff victory, but not that able to hold really on to the ball. That is really uncharacteristic for Hughes. No doubt. Mistake. Was I don't know if it was actually deflected in looking at it again, Chris, or if it was just the trail check maybe impacting it a little bit there. It, it may have been. I mean, he was able to get, as I said, inside the the, the teeth of the defense, but but maybe you're, to your point, the trail check did affect it and it changed the trajectory of the shot. And the face-off violation called against Callahan. First of the half for the Blue Jays. Quarter, Blue Jays from right to left. 6-2, Loyola in front. This battle for Charles Street. Glenn Clark, Chris Gunkel with you. Eric Pacheco had a shot at a clean win, couldn't come up with it. But on the second try, is able to get the ground ball. And Loyola has possession first to start this third quarter. Yeah, nice job there by Pacheco, but you know, Hopkins again applying a lot of pressure on ball. And we've seen freshman Minicus just make a couple of mistakes today. James has the, the stick checked out and not able to come up with the ground ball either, so Hopkins will get it back. Or well, they may not. This pace has been frenetic <laughs> so far. And looks up on the far sideline, on the far wing, excuse me. It is Pacheco. And Callahan again for Johns Hopkins. Done start of the day, but Callahan took over, and Loyola gets the quick win as Roman. Nobody there. Pick that goal line extended. He's done a really nice job as Loyola pushes it forward, and now he's going to have another break. Pacheco lays it off. Shot high. Backed up. Stayed. Maybe not as clean on the first time ground balls as last week, but that's a setting that, that was a pretty high expectation based on that performance. But they've been, you know, clean enough in order to be where they are right now. Peter Millen is really stuck with Callahan after those first couple of the day. Went the wrong way off balance, but they were to Loyola. regain that, that balance and make a 
another great defensive stand resulting in a goal for Sal. Rear point on the assist for James second goal third point of the day fifth and sixth on the year respectively Hopkins trying to get a quick response Degnan not able to get that on target. Assuming he's saying some version is what I've been saying. Face off win but just having to let it rip from well out it was Cal. Uh, maybe with that being said, showing a little bit more patience in, in, in those decisions. We head back to the dot. Callahan and Pacheco face off violation. First of the second half for Johns Hopkins. The Greyhound, we're, you know, we're really good. We know we can just get away with doing anything. They rose to the occasion once again for a big matchup today against Johns Hopkins. Yeah, yeah they certainly have so far uh, with, with 14. Cuts it to 12-4. Quick face-off win for Pacheco. He had a step, but no reason. Clocks your friend, well, obviously. Toe Backs drag, it out. Toe drag there by the face-off man. Hopkins has scored a couple here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, and it feels like Loyal has played a lot of defense here. So this is a big face-off. Nice job there. Pacheco, very clean. Club Pacheco, let's see, though, if he can handle it. And he's working his way through. Goes on cage. Turned aside by Marcel. UK with the shot there. Your point. 13 saves today for Marcel. 13 or more in all four games this year. Hopkins will have it off the violation. First face off violations. And, and yet it'd be fair. Hopkins was, was depleted. Missing two starters. No question. Would have been interesting to see how that would have impacted the game. But as we discussed prior to this game, sometimes that can cause a, a team, in this case like Loyola, to not play as hard, not be as focused. Sure. We didn't see that at all. They mm -hmm. were focused from the opening face off right until now. They have, but adding some of the atmosphere here as this one will go final. Loyola improves to 2-0 and on the season. They defeat Johns Hopkins 13-8 to here at Ridley Athletic Complex.